Received by John Mills, Princess Elizabeth and Princess Margaret arrive at Grosvenor House to attend the Lord's Taverners Ball in aid of the National Playing Fields Fund, of which Prince Philip is president and a keen supporter. More than a thousand guests are present. Seated with the princesses are Lord and Lady Mountbatten. As the night's big attraction begins, an indoors cricket match. Norton Wayne drapes the umpire and Bill Edrich makes the first hit of the game, or miss by the look of the stumps. It's the Lord's Taverners, a cricketers club against the rest of the world, who seem to come chiefly from the stage and screen. Roughly about where square leg ought to be is the royal table. Nobody quite knows what the rules are, but Roger Livesey, now bowling, is in deadly form. He doesn't even have to hit the stumps. Now he's batting. He must be good because it takes two bowlers to get him out. All square, enter Hare, the hope of his side. Oh, indubitably. Have a care there. That's the winning run. Now that lot's over, on with the dance. The Duke is dancing with Lord Louis's daughter, Pamela. The National Playing Fields Fund aims to bring sport within the reach of all. Like her husband, Princess Elizabeth, here dancing with John Mills, is a keen supporter of such an excellent cause. <laughs> 